So I really didn't do a good job of doing a introduction of everything that's going to be in this video. I'm just going to do a quick little voiceover and just kind of explain what this is. I know so far on this channel we've mostly done theme parks, but we kind of just wanted to highlight something else that we enjoy. This past weekend we did go to the University of North Texas versus University of Texas at San Antonio football game in Denton, Texas. Uh, I actually graduated from UNT and I've gone to many football and basketball games. Um, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a fanatical supporter, but I do enjoy rooting on the Mean Green. It is a young rivalry. It started back in 2013, but that's only a small portion of this video. Um, in the DFW area, they have some amazing food, amazing breakfast restaurants. Um, so we did go to one the morning of the game and the morning after the game. And I just wanted to highlight the restaurants that we went to. On our first day, we stopped at Seven Mile Cafe, which has several locations around the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, I got the Nutella mocha that was delicious. I always enjoy a mocha. And the Joe's breakfast tacos, which I added ham to, were amazing. And Carol got the Seven Mile Latte, which looked good, as well as the Migas that were delicious. I tried a little bit. And we also got a uh, Biscuits and Gravy, which I thought was just okay. I mean, wasn't bad. On our second morning, we went to the Old West Cafe in Denton, which we tried to go to every time we go up to Dallas-Fort Worth. I completely forgot to get footage of our breakfast, but I had the pancakes, Carol had the French toast. Um, you can never go wrong with Old West. And even though we didn't get any donuts this time, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Amy's Donuts. If you're a fan of Voodoo Donuts or Duck Donuts, this is a must stop in Denton. They just have a plethora of different kind of donuts, different flavors, different combinations. They're just super good. And of course, any road trip in Texas, Bucky's is a must stop. Um, they have very clean bathrooms, as well as a plethora of gas pumps and so many snack food and drink options. And they have so much merchandise. When we were there, they had all their Christmas merch on display. Uh, they also had some of the regular merch uh, further back. They even have dog treats and dog bowls that you could purchase. Um, I don't think they had anything for cats though. Uh, not very cat friendly here. And of course we left with uh, quite a bit of stuff. And I can't forget to mention uh, downtown Denton as well as the square. On the square, there's a couple of coffee shops. Uh, I know there's food options as well as uh, like a, I think ice cream parlor and a candy shop. And we also saw uh, what's called the D20 Tavern, which is basically a tavern that has board games and you can play. It sounds awesome. And there was also this old theater that I'm not sure if it was still in use or not. But after visiting the square, we made our way down to DAC2 Stadium for the game. There we go. The sun is not blaring down at us, or at least me. So we are here, decided to take a break from theme parks to come and uh, see the UNT versus UTSA game. I graduated from UNT and we live in San Antonio. Um, I typically use root for UTSA except for today. Wanted to lose. Wanted to lose. I'll lose. We need the wins, please. So we're just excited to come up. This should be a good game. Um, honestly, if UNT is within two touchdowns at halftime, I feel like there's like a good chance they might win. <laughs> they are not a good first half team. Excited to see how the game goes. I don't think it'll be too well attended just because UNT is kind of having a bad year. Um, but so that meant we got good tickets or good seats.
down 14. This is typically 21. <laughs> we're basically winning. Yeah. So we were down by 14 at half. Um, I decided to use the restroom and get something to eat. Um, word of advice, right over here, the north end zone seemed to have the less amount of lines and um, was fairly quick. I just walked right up and ordered some pizza. We also did stop by the shop and get a UNT shirt with the retro strutting eagle on it. Disappointing loss, then just nonetheless to say, it was an exciting game for a little bit. I'll say, that's like I have for semi. For semi, like once UNT started scoring, which was like the fourth quarter, that got exciting. And then they're like, just kidding, here's the ball, go score it <laughs> for UTSA. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, so disappointing, but hey. What can you do? Just to finish off my thoughts, it basically means UNT is not going to make a bowl game. They still have to play SMU, which is killing everyone. And um, yeah, they have to win the next three games to do that. So disappointing loss, um, not to take away from UTSA. They played a good game. I mean, just run the ball and you're gonna beat UNT. What can I say? Um, thank you for watching and uh, keep a lookout for our next video because after this we're about to go up and do something in Prisca. Bye! Bye. Bye.